Hey everybody, Jake here, and today I have a quick unboxing for you, and uh, probably a disassembly as well. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into it. I actually have two knives in here. Um, it's just a regular standard flat rate priority box here. And to open it, got my current, I wouldn't say favorite, but I like it a lot, um, <clears throat> the Microtech UTX-70. Go ahead and open this up here. And see what we've got inside. <clears throat> well, we've got some more tape on the side over here. And let's take a look. <clears throat> so, inside of that box, we have these two boxes. Um, if you're into knives, you've probably heard of this brand, especially recently. It's called Two Sun. They are a Chinese brand, and their knives are actually... Sorry about that, I had to adjust the camera angle there. Um, their knives are fairly popular, though. Um, I saw these two for a very good price as a bundle combo, so I picked them up. So I'm not sure which one is which. Um, we do have the two at uh, TS80, and I believe the TS1 something. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look at this top one first and see what we've got in here. Oh, so it's a, a box in a box. Okay. And just to show you the outside packaging, Tucson, Tucson, nothing special. Um, and a little almost paper-esque box here. Okay, so this is the one um, that I actually bought the bundle for. This is the, I'll have to look up the exact number, but it's called the Stingray. Um, initial impressions, it's very thick. It's not as heavy as I would have thought it to be. Um, centering is really, really good. Um, this is a front flipper, as you can tell. Very stylish-looking knife as well. Um, I really like the clip a lot, so I'm curious to see how that functions. The one thing I will say, if you'll notice, there's not much ramp there, so I'm a bit worried about how that's going to function in the pocket. Let's go ahead and see if I uh, get this open. Eh, a bit of a missed flip. <clears throat> so really cool, almost a Tonto-style compound grind up there on the blade. Very big... Um, blade compared to the handle. I really, really like that look. Feels really, really good in the hand. Um, thumb slides right in here. And this out almost acts like a finger choil to a degree. I really like this, actually. Um, and one thing these knives are really known for is their low price point to high value. So let me see if it kind of drops shut. Uh, a little bit, with a little bit of coaxing. Let's see if we can spidey flick it here. I Not really. Let me try to do it off camera real quick. So yeah, I can get it there. Um, let me try to front flip it again. So yeah, I, I can get it. Um, I'll probably disassemble this and uh, re-lubricate it here with some KPL in just a moment. Um, I really like the feel of this carbon fiber. It's really, really nice as well, if you can kind of see that there. <clears throat> really, really nice carbon fiber. And this is pretty good overall. Um, I paid, after all was said and done, like $50 for this. Um, it is D2 steel, titanium liners, carbon fiber overlay, titanium clip, and stainless steel hardware. So not that bad. Um, and the action off camera, I can drop it. I can drop it shut if I try. So we'll keep that one in mind. That is, I'll go and open it back up here for you guys so you all have something to look at. That is the Tucson Stingray. I'll have the exact model number in the video. Um, I'll also put it down in the description. Uh, if I remember, if I don't remember, leave me a comment. So next up, we have TS-80. This is codenamed the Jaeger. Um, I really like the guy who does this design. Um, you can find him on Instagram. I believe it's under Vintess Design. V-I-N-T-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. um, this knife, I actually, for some reason, I thought it would be... I thought it would be thinner or thicker than, than the Stingray here, but they look like they're about the same. The Stingray may be a little bit a little bit thicker, honestly. Go ahead and lay that back down for y'all. 
So the Jaeger here, same thing, uh, D2, carbon fiber, and titanium. Uh, this one does weigh a bit more. I really like the stylings of this. I don't like the how high the clip is going to set, like that much of your of the knife's going to be sticking out, but the clip is very, very stylish. It goes with it very, very well. And let's check the action on this. Oh, that's really good. Holy crap, that's good. <laughs> so I picked these up in as, as a bundle, and I was honestly intending on selling this one, but I may keep both. These are just really, really good. And initial impressions, of course. So take that, take that for what you will, but right out the box, these are looking good. This is a lot more of a Tonto-style grind. Um, in hand, this one actually feels better. It does. I do feel a little bit of a hollow down here. Um, I have somewhat large hands, but this this is really really nice. I do wish there was some jimping um, right here, like there is on the Stingray. Um, because if you set them side by side, I would consider this one to probably be the more hard to use knife. Just looking at them um, straight on, but this one's more comfortable ergonomically, and um, there's no jimping on this one. So let's check the action here. Oh, the action's much, much smoother on this one. Let me see if, I, it's gonna be very difficult to get in camera. I'm, I'm working on getting some new lenses, guys, so I apologize. But that is smooth. Let's see if we can spotty flick it. Ah, it's very difficult to do under camera, kind of. Um, I will work on the action here in just a bit. I don't think I'm gonna do a disassembly. I'm gonna try to keep my videos a little bit shorter, but my initial impressions of both of these knives, fantastic. Um, there will be reviews in the coming weeks. These are going to be featured in my knife collection video, which may air before this. I don't know. Not there yet. But I'm really, really impressed with these. I'm going to go and, and play with these um, expensive fidget toys, and I'll see all you guys later. Uh, thanks.